Have you ever sat by the ocean and wondered why it doesn't overflow due to Earth's spin? This question might seem simple, but it leads us into a world of fascinating science. The Earth's spin, a constant, unchanging part of our lives, is something we rarely question. We accept it as a given. But have you ever stopped to ponder its effects? Questions like these often lead to profound scientific discoveries. So, are you ready? Let's dive into the science behind this fascinating phenomenon. To comprehend this mystery, we first need to understand the Earth's spin. So let's dive in. Our home planet Earth rotates on its axis, an imaginary line that runs from the North Pole to the South Pole. This rotation is what gives us our days and nights. When one side of the Earth faces the Sun, we experience daylight. As the Earth continues its spin, that side moves away from the Sun, leading to nightfall. Now you might be wondering how fast does the Earth spin? Well, if you're standing on the equator, the Earth is spinning at roughly a thousand miles per hour. That's faster than a commercial jet. But don't worry, we don't feel this speed because we're moving with the Earth. This rapid spinning does something interesting to the Earth's shape. Instead of being a perfect sphere, like a basketball, our planet is an oblate spheroid. That's a fancy way of saying it's squashed at the poles and slightly bulging at the equator. Imagine spinning a ball of dough. As it spins, the dough spreads out and flattens in the middle. The Earth behaves in much the same way. Why does this happen? It's due to centrifugal force. As the Earth spins, everything on it, including the oceans and you, wants to fly out in a straight line. But gravity pulls us back. At the equator, where the spin is fastest, the centrifugal force is strongest. This force pushes against gravity, causing the Earth to bulge outwards. This oblate shape of the Earth has various impacts, one of which is on the distribution of the oceans. But we'll get into that in the next scene. Now that we've grasped Earth's spin, we can delve into its impact on our oceans. But before we do, let's take a moment to marvel at the complex and beautiful system that our planet is. It's not just a sphere spinning in space, but a dynamic entity that shapes our lives in ways we often don't realize. So, how does the Earth's spin affect our oceans? A great question indeed. As Earth spins on its axis, it creates a centrifugal force. Now you might remember centrifugal force from those amusement park rides that spin you around and press you against the wall. It's a fictitious or pseudo-force that appears to push objects away from the center of rotation. In the context of our planet, this force is continuously pushing against everything on the Earth's surface, including our oceans, in an outward direction. Now here's where things get a little tricky. This centrifugal force isn't distributed evenly across the globe. It's strongest at the equator, and weakest at the poles. Why, you ask? It's because the equator is the furthest point from the Earth's axis of rotation, increasing the effect of the centrifugal force. So due to this centrifugal push, the oceans tend to bulge out at the equator. But wait, why don't the oceans just overflow due to this bulge? If you're picturing a giant wall of water perpetually threatening to flood the continents, then let's introduce another player in this cosmic dance. Gravity. Gravity that familiar force that keeps us firmly planted on the ground, also acts on the oceans. It pulls everything, including the bulging water at the equator, towards the center of the Earth. This counteracting force to the centrifugal push ensures the oceans stay in place and don't spill over the sides. So, in essence, it's a delicate balance of forces at play. The Earth's spin creates a centrifugal force causing the oceans to bulge at the equator. But thanks to gravity, this bulge doesn't result in an overflow. It's a fascinating interplay demonstrating how our planet's physical characteristics shape the world we live in. Gravity, acting as Earth's great balancer, ensures our oceans don't spill over the sides. It's all about balance, the interplay of forces. In the cosmic dance of our Earth, two primary forces are at play. The centrifugal force and the gravitational force. These forces seemingly at odds work together in harmony to keep our oceans exactly where they should be. Let's first look at the centrifugal force. This is the outward force that you feel when you spin around quickly. It's the same force that makes water in a bucket stay put when you whirl it over your head. For our planet, this force is trying to fling the oceans out into space. But wait, why aren't we all floating off into the void? Enter our second force, gravity. This is the force that pulls everything towards the center of the Earth. It's the reason we're able to stay grounded and it's also the force that keeps our oceans from being flung out into space by the centrifugal force. These two forces are in a constant tug of war, but they're not rivals. They're partners in a cosmic dance, maintaining a delicate balance that allows life to flourish on our planet. The centrifugal force caused by Earth's spin 
is perfectly balanced by the gravitational force pulling everything towards the Earth's center. This equilibrium ensures our oceans stay right where they are, not spilling over the sides, but also not being sucked into the Earth's core. And that, my friends, is why we can enjoy a day at the beach without worrying about the oceans overflowing. So there we have it. The simple yet complex reason behind our initial question. We've journeyed through the fascinating physics of our planet's spin, uncovering how this rotation creates forces that shape our world in ways we often overlook. We've seen how these forces, particularly centrifugal force, interact with the all-encompassing force of gravity, creating a delicate balance that holds our oceans in check. We've unraveled the mystery of why our oceans don't overflow, despite the Earth's continuous spin. It's a testament to the intricate workings of our planet, where even the seemingly mundane is a result of complex and awe-inspiring processes. The knowledge we've gathered today is a small piece of a vast puzzle, illustrating the intricate and dynamic relationship between the Earth's rotation and our oceanic boundaries. The next time you find yourself by the ocean, remember the incredible forces at play that make it all possible. Until next time, keep wondering, keep questioning, and keep exploring the wonders of our world. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.